Hello and welcome to the mat. So today we're going to focus on the hip flexors, specifically the iliopsoas. It is a big muscle that is the postural muscle, it's often referred to. It stabilizes the upper and lower body and comes from the lowest thoracic vertebrae or middle one and the five lowest vertebrae, the lumbar vertebrae. And comes around or just inside of the iliac crest, that big bone there, and goes inside the groin, the muscle you feel right here in the front, and then connects on the upper inner thigh. So <clears throat> this is the postural muscle has a lot to do with how we uh, stand and is very affected by how we sit, especially sitting in chairs a lot or doing lots of linear movement. So uh, it can be a big culprit for lower back pain because it pulls on those um, bones there, gets them compressed. Anyways, it's probably enough of the science of it. Let's just get into the awe uh, of it. So we're going to start lying down on the back in what is called by this coach as a um, the restorative rest position. She has a whole book on the psoas if you want to know more of the science of it all. So we're gonna lie down almost like bridge pose, but you'll have the feet walked out a little further away from you than you would for bridge. And this you'll start to feel, maybe when you first lay down, it's more like go oh, the low back. And then as you lay here and take a few breaths, you can feel uh, a little softening of the low back as the placement here helps the femurs just to rest into the low back and thereby the lower back to sort of melt a little bit and relax. This will also help relax the nervous system. The whole psoas really is very connected to our emotional nervous system. <sighs> so I would even suggest if you're very tight here, if you're not warmed up at all, to just pause this video for five to even 15 minutes, but five minutes is great. You could take five minutes doing this, just laying in this pose with your hands on your belly or your heart, or you're on those muscles themselves and just lay here in this restorative rest position. And send your breath right into your hands, right into the psoas, right into the lower back. Send your breath right there. For the sake of the video, I'm only going to lay here about a minute or two. So again, you might pause this at any point. Just let your head look up with a long back of the neck. Relax the eyes, relax your jaw. Really invite the jaw to hang on its hinge and the tongue to soften, to relax at its root. The jaw, the tongue, the hips, and the psoas are all very connected by chains of connective tissue all the way down. So when we relax the mouth, we give permission to the hips and the psoas to let go, to relax. If you find yourself gripping in the mouth at all throughout this practice, notice that this will be following through. You're telling your hips as well to hang on. And right now we're just uh, asking them to let go. And I find sound very helpful here to just use those long, Ah, uh, breaths or letting go breaths. You could even do a horse lips, like <sighs> to encourage the lips to relax, the jaw. Or lion's breath. <sighs> if you feel something's really tight and sticking, you can kind of make it extreme with a lion's breath and then soften and melt it. Deep breaths here in the nose, right into your hands, your hips, your low back, and out the mouth. Soft jaw, soft tongue.
So if you haven't already paused and you think maybe you should, then pause now and come back in a minute. We'll meet there. Otherwise, as you're ready, we're going to begin to build a little bridge here. But we're going to do it very slowly today. So I'll encourage you first to bring your hands like robot arms. So point it up to the sky, elbows in close at the sides, and give a little squeeze, shoulders onto the back here. Notice this might pop your ribs up, and then try to pull your ribs back down. Notice how that might tilt your pelvis, and that's okay. We're going to play with this. So we're going to pour the bowl of the pelvis away, and we're going to scoop it back up. Pour it away as much as you can, and scoop it back up. So feel into your tailbone, a little curl there, rolling away, curling back in. Nice to do this with the breath, inhaling open, exhale as you pull the navel back, it's going to help you scoop back in. Inhale open, exhale scoop back. Again, the hands could be resting if that feels better for you. I'm just having the arms in robot arms to work the shoulders onto the back a little bit more. So you get multi-benefits. And then walk your feet in a bit, and let's tilt the pelvis again. Reach up through the tailbone, through the hips, through the middle back, the chest, and lift the chin away from the chest. Here, let's go ahead and interlace the hands behind you. Squeeze the palms together, get the shoulders on the back, and lift the chin away from the chest. And then here, let's reach one knee away from you. So you're going a little lopsided for a moment. The left hip might fall down a bit, or the opposite hip. And then reach the other knee away from you. So you see what I'm doing? Reaching one knee long, and then the other knee long. It'll shift side to side like this. Okay, now it's extreme with the hands, of course. But <clears throat> let's go for that little movement. And you can pause in that, reach it away, and inhale. And exhale, pull it back. Keep the chin lifted so the pressure is on the back of the shoulders, center back of the head, and you're not crunching the neck there. And breathe your knees. Really, you're breathing your hips, you're reaching your knees. We're almost done here. I know this can be a lot if you're not used to doing this. So one more, pull away. Exhale, pull back. And let's roll on down nice and slow. <clears throat> let's step the feet here as wide as your mat. And inhale the arms up overhead as you let both knees fall to one side. Big, long stretch there through the side body and right through that psoas and into the quadricep. Got to release that muscle a bit too in order for this one to fully release. So inhale there once more as you exhale, pull the navel back, pull the knees back, really connect the movement with that breath. Inhale both the knees to the side, stretch it out, exhale, pull the knees back, pull the navel back. Mm. So sorry, on the first one on the other side we did spend a couple breaths there, so go ahead and at any point if one side feels tighter or if you're just in that breath there like, oh yeah, then just stay there. Otherwise, you can go side to side. So you can take a couple breaths on each side, or just take one inhale on each side, and let the exhale pull you back. Okay, breath leads the movement. I'm gonna do a couple more to each side. Really let the jaw go. And then let's roll it all the way over to press up onto hands and knees. <clears throat> Hi. Okay, so we're going to come into a lunge. Let's bring the right leg forward and we're going to come into a yin lunge first. If this is a lot on your back knee, please pat it. Put a blanket or a pillow or whatever you need back there. And we're going to make sure that the front knee is right in line with our hip point. So the bones on the front of your hips, these are your hip points, just let that knee be in line with that and in line with the middle toes, so making a nice long clear line there. I'll let the back toes be released for now because we're going to just start really yin at first, really receptive. 
So I invite you to rest your chest on that thigh, to rest your shoulder on that thigh, <clears throat> and just let the head relax. Let the head be heavy, and let that stretch in the weight of the head to stretch out and traction the spine. Really rest onto the thigh. See if you can even relax your arms there and melt into the front knee. I'm going to take my jacket off. It's chilly, but visuals. I need to see what's happening. So, <clears throat> yeah, rest on the front knee, on the whole thigh with that chest, with your shoulder. Relax the arms as much as you can. You can even turn palms up here. Nice stretch for the wrist there, too. Kind of point the fingers up. There's the wrist stretch. Anyways, focusing on the psoas. Sink into the front knee. Relax the neck. Breathe into your hip flexor. And again, <sighs> soft jaw, soft tongue. Breath in the nose. <sighs> out the mouth. Notice if you're holding the head up a little bit. Trying not to let it drop heavy because that's going to be you resisting that stretch a little bit. I'm encouraging you to really melt into it. So let the hip go. You might even give it a little nod or a little roll side to side. Really invite the neck to be soft. Heavy head. Ah. <clears throat> And we're going to turn the back toes under here. A couple options, actually. If you want, you can keep those toes pointed straight back, not kind of curled into the side, but pointed straight back in line with your foot. Activate onto your fingertips, pull the shoulder back, and next inhale, push into your foot, lift up. This is intense for some people, especially if it's very tight for you, it might be too much. Exhale, you'll lower and melt it back down to the earth. So that's one option. It's a little more opening in the front. That's the other option. Toe pads on the floor. Inhale, smiling helps. Stretch it out, big breath. And exhale, lower the knee down. You can relax the head back down even. You're going to pulse with the breath in that way three more times. Inhale, open it to wherever your edge is. Big breath. Exhale, melt it down. <clears throat> Two more. Let your breath lead. Draw the shoulders down the back and the heart forward. Good. You could do a whole lot more of those if inspired or just later today. And then we'll just balance that out with stretching the front leg straight. Really pull the toes out or towards straight. So whatever is right for you today. Draw the toes back. Draw that hip back. Reach your heart forward. And then come on back forward. Again, you could do that a couple of times or a few times. Let's just do three for now. <clears throat> Focusing on the psoas, but we always want a balanced action in the body. So we're looking for some hamstrings there with that one. And then you can transition either by stepping your feet, or this is a nice transition, hands inside, lift the back knee, and we'll walk wide-legged, and then pivot all the way around to the second side. Coming into your lunge on second side, again, just make sure the hip point, the knee, and the ankle are all in a nice alignment with each other. <clears throat> again, pad that back knee if you need to. Step the back foot and knees back as far as you can, breathfully, and then rest that front chest on shoulder, uh, that's on that side, on the leg, and relax uh, the torso onto the shoulder as much as you can. Let the head release, heavy head to traction, the length of the neck all the way down into that second side, iliopsoas there. Big breath in the nose and... Uh, out the mouth. Go as yin as you can, as receptive, as being with the sensation. Notice the reaction in the body mind to whatever comes up there. Just let it be interesting. All about the breath here. 
Breathe right into that heat and resistance and invite it to melt with your breath, with your sound. And then when you're ready, inhale yourself back up. Get your fingers strong on the earth. Pull the shoulder blades down the back as much as you can. And either, again, point those back toes straight back and try to push into that foot a little bit. Even the efforting, even if you can't lift that knee, you feel that efforting, bring a little smile into that hip there, into that hip flexor. Stay with that, pressing up. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Or, of course, you can turn the toes under. Inhale, smile that heel back, shoulders back, heart forward. Exhale, you can mount the back knee and head down together. And breathe, big full breath. <sighs> In the nose, out the mouth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then again, when you're done, you can use the back knee up or down to stretch that front leg long. Pull, spread the toes out and pull the toes back, especially that pinky toe side and that outer hip. Shoulders down the back. Again, you could hold that breathe. You can mouth into it or just pulse with the breath. I'm going to do a couple more. Inhale, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, legs back, toes back. Relax the neck. And just follow your breath. Balancing out the weakening in the leg. And again, you can walk either inside that front leg to come into the wide-legged stance again, or I'm going to switch legs just for the shake, sake of your view here, not keep giving you my booty. So, as you're ready, second side. So that would be you walking through to the second side. Or, change as I did. And then we're going to go a little deeper. So if that was enough for you, you can go back and repeat that. Let's see if you're ready to build it up a bit. So we're going to interlace the hands on the front thigh and push into that thigh and pull the navel back and pull the low ribs back and round through the back body as much as you can. Really round. So you're hollowing out the front body. Look in towards your heart. Make a cave of your heart. Look in. Round in, chin to chest, and push that thigh away. <sighs> Big stretch there. Keep the mouth soft. And then you can sink back in, press the hips down, squeeze the shoulders on the back. Inhale, reach the arms up. I'm going to switch orientation. Inhale with the arms up, stretch it out. And then we're going to take hold of the hand that's on that same, the open side, and hold of the hand with the opposite, hold of the wrist with your opposite hand, and then stretch it on over into a side bend. So now you're getting the side body and the connection from the side body down into that hip. You probably feel that. And then keep reaching over. Let's bring both hands over. We'll just take a little twist. We'll take a gentle twist, just kind of folding into the leg there, mounting in. If you're feeling pretty strong, stable, stretchy here, you can make that bigger by pressing the palms into one another. Lift the back knee if you like. All these variations are possible. I'm inviting you to a more gentle practice today. But I do want to acknowledge that those things are possible in case you are so inspired. Okay, stay there a couple more breaths if you like. When you're ready, come out nice and slow. And again, we'll just extend the front leg as kind of a washing out there. I'm going to reorient once more. And we'll come back into wide-legged stance. In your wide-legged stance, you can kind of give a little bend into the knees. 
Give the hips a little shake out there. And we'll move it on over to your second side. Pivot. Make sure your knees and toes and hip points are in alignment again. And then as you're ready, interlace hands on that front thigh. Push down into the front thigh and pull the navel back. Pull the low ribs back. Round through the back body. Pull the heart back and curl the head in to look at the heart. Keep pushing that thigh away. Big breaths in the nose. Out the mouth. That's a big one. All right. <clears throat> we'll come back out of that. Bring your hands to your hips. Push your hips down. Squeeze the shoulders on the back. And lift up out of the waist. Once you find your stability there, you can bend into the front knee as much as possible and really melt your hips to the earth. Keep a little hug to midline so we're not just collapsing, but there's a hugging in. You're staying connected to your center this whole time. And then as you're ready, inhale, arms up if you're able, <clears throat> and then take hold of the open side wrist and with your opposite hand and lift up and over into a side bend. Keep lifting through the chest, lift through the heart, and breathe this long stretch here of the side body. <sighs> Wherever that intensity is the greatest, send the breath right there. That's a call to the breath. Begin to train yourself like that or continue the training of that. Sending the breath wherever intensity is, wherever resistance is, send the breath. Send gratitude, compassion, spaciousness and then we'll lower that opposite hand keep reaching the open side up and over and you can hook that elbow and kind of just melt and bend in there reorienting or once more you can go deeper with that if it's there for you so you're up and over and you can just hug and tuck wherever possible or you can play with using that hooked elbow to push and lengthen your spine bring both hands together maybe or hands can stay to floor and sky or stay hugging your leg but if you do this on the other side go for it squeeze in see about lifting that back leg lift your heart a long spine and remember your breath, deep, full breaths. Stay with it if it's right for you. When you're ready, unwind and play just into extending that front leg for a bit. Kind of wash it out. And then come on back forward and between the legs. Here, turn the knees and toes out. So they're pointing in the same direction. So when you bend into one knee, it points the same direction as the toe. And we'll just sidle into the hips there. Wash that a little bit. Take a swim in your hips there, a little flow side to side. Keep the seat as low as you can and the spine as long as you can. And you can really let the spine go, let the crown of the head go, and just flow. And then parallel your feet and bow in forward fold. And hold your ankles or your feet there and just bow into yourself and then let's walk the hands out and see how long we've gone 24 minutes all right I invite you to come to sit and just see what feels different there Going to make a full circle of our practice today. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to invite you back down onto your back. And this time, hug the knees into your chest and just give yourself a little rock. So you're drawing the tailbone up, stretching through the lower back a bit. And we'll take happy baby. So you're going to take the hand, elbows inside the knees, hands over the tops of your feet, and flex your feet to the sky. If this isn't possible, you can hold the ankles too and pull the ankles down or pull your feet down wherever you're at towards your shoulders. At the same time, push your heels to the sky. So you're trying to get the sacrum, the base of your spine, back to the floor. And the lower back from that action, feet pulling back, knees pulling back, heels to sky, sacrum down. From that action, maybe get a little lift, a little lightness in the lower back, just a little space there, lumbar spine off of the earth. It's a natural curve. So we're just looking to kind of put things back in place. It's a great release for the lower back here. Can be. And this is happy baby, of course, too. So you're welcome to play with that. You can pull one knee to the earth and then the other, or you can extend one leg out to the side and then the other, or both of them, or you can suck your toes. Do baby stuff. <laughs> Whatever feels good there, but laughter is definitely good for the hips. <sighs> and then we'll hug the knees back in and bring the feet down to the floor. Press into the floor, tilt the pelvis, lift on up, stretch it out. Let's bring the palms together again and rock side to side. Get the shoulders on the back. Now turn the face to the sky, look straight up, or you can look down at your belly, but keep the chin lifted a bit so there's a natural curve in the back of the neck as well squeeze the shoulders together and really press down into the shoulders and into the center back of the head right behind the ears lengthen through your tailbone and root into your heels lift your hips to the sky you might even lift and spread the toes here and feel like you're trying to pull your heels back towards you and breathe front body bright Soft jaw, soft tongue. And then we'll release the hands, fold the arms wide, and ripple the spine down, upper, middle, and lower. Then we'll walk the feet wide again and just let the knees go to one side. Arms may come up overhead. Exhale, knees back to center. Inhale, knees to the other side and follow your breath. Exhale, knees to center. Inhale, stretch it out. Let your breath lead. This can also be done with the feet together. With the feet wide, you get a little more into the psoas. With the feet together, you get a little more massage in the outer hips, and that can feel good too. So just play with it and breathe. And feel into your body all that heat, the vibration, maybe sort of sparkliness or swirling of the greater circulation, the awakening of energy in there. And I invite you to use your mind right now to feel all that energy and to use your mind like a net or a gathering tool of whatever sort and gather all that energy up. And bring it up to your heart. Roll on over to your side. Take a little bow into yourself. Hug in. Imagine all that energy gathering up to your heart. Thank you, body. Thank yourself for showing up for your body mind today, for all your layers. And again, come up to sit. If your knees are up high, please sit up on a block or a blanket or a pillow. Sit up high so that the knees can fall open wide. This will make sitting easier. Okay. Take a pause in your seat. Invite the awareness into the back body. Breathe your back body. Lie the awareness through your eyes, jaw, mouth, shoulders, spine, hips, pelvis, legs, feet, and all the way back up. 
feel what's moved or changed from your first seat. Inhale, open the arms wide, gather up to the sky, and exhale, center and focus the energy to your heart. Now all this energy that we've gathered up into your heart today, what would you choose to direct it to? Find a word, a mantra, or an image that lights you up inside, that feels good. What would you choose to cultivate or to express in this body-mind, in this world? Breathe that. Imagine it fully alive, here and now. This is your truth. And this practice helps us to unfold our truth. And may all the energy and effort of this practice serve your highest good. May these blessings ripple out and may all those around us be blessed. May all beings everywhere benefit. Namaste. The light and receive and honors the light in you. Thank you. Thank you for practicing. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. My sharing is very casual, but um, very crucial for me, from my heart. And I wish you blessings. And you can give it in a body. It's a gift. Enjoy it.